So today we're going to talk about interfacing an ATEM uh, Blackmagic uh, Vision Switcher, uh, any model, uh, but in this one I'm just using uh, a Mini. And um, we're going to be uh, interfacing the tally system of uh, any ATEM using a um, one of my interface boxes to talk to the tally system of the data video ITC 100 intercom system which has got a built-in tally on the um, on the back so um, this is the current mess that I've got here it is a mess but as you can see down the bottom here I'll just use my pencil uh, down the bottom here I've got an ITC 100 talkback system um, these are the four belt packs one, two, three, four belt packs. And I've just got laid out here the the accessories to the belt packs, which are the on-camera tally um, system. And um, what we can do with this, I've got an ATEM Mini down here. I've got my normal um, multi-view set up. Um, and I'm going to just switch over just to stay on the camera so we don't change our output. And um, what we've got here at the moment um, is I've got the ATEM Mini connected using Ethernet to uh, one of my tally boxes. This is the very basic tally box which doesn't have any macros or anything like that. Um, you can access the macros using the optional um, display unit which is here. But um, I'm just using this bare bone so it's the minimum um, system um, currently they're on special um, they're actually under two hundred dollars US it is um, and um, we have um, what else have I got here um, um, anyhow so that's basically all we need we just got the ATEM mini the tally uh, interface box and the ITC 100 now in the back here, you probably can't see because all these cables, there's actually a little tally connector. That tally connector is just going out to the tally connector on the back of the box, um, which I can show you here. Well, that's the um, business end. That's the tally connector. So that um, that connector is going out to, just going out directly to the connector on the ITC100. Um, and um, there's just a little interface cable that you can either make yourself or you can um, buy that when you're buying um, one of these um, one of these units and um, so basically the way this works is that we've got I'll go out and do this from a pencil you can see up here on the interface on the sorry on the hip pack we've got a little light on the top here it's a bit overexposed at the moment but that's actually red and um, we've got one on each box so you can see the only one that's on at the moment is the top one. Now that's that's for camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. So these would be normally run out to the cameras um, for the cameraman and their talk back. Um, they can hear the director, they can return talk back using just the little headphones plugged in here. Uh, and then this would just go out to the top of the camera. And you can see they've got a little, um, little Velcro strap on here so that you can, that's all comes with these, the data video little boxes and that. And um, so you can put put it on top of your camera, and then on one side you've got double lights, on the other side you've got a single light. So however you want to, one goes to the talent, one goes to the cameraman. So um, um, you, you can do that, or you can probably make your own and just stick it inside your viewfinder, so that yeah, you because know, they're just on a little a mini, a little 3.5 mil um, little connector. So you just plug that out. It's just a little 3.5 middle connector and they just plug in there and off you go um, and um, so you can see at the moment there both of them are showing on camera one that's camera one camera two camera three camera four you can see I'm actually got camera one selected up here and um, uh, that can be seen if I just switch our output back to I'll just go to camera four you'll see there it is there it is up there that's um that's camera camera one up here um, and um, I'm going to switch through the cameras now and you'll see that as I'm switching through the cameras uh, there's camera two and you see the light change up there so just camera one 
So there's the light changing, camera one, camera two. The light's changing down here as well. Camera two, camera one, camera two. Can't see that too well, can you? How about that? Oh, okay, we're probably a little bit um, we're probably a little bit um, bright, but that's all right. You get the idea. Uh, and then there's camera three, and there's camera four. So as you can see, I'm switching. You're getting, you're getting your your tally lights. Um, what you are also able to do um, is, um, as you know, you can't switch preview up here. If you do an auto, uh, if I just go auto and go to from four to three. You might see over here on the unit you might see the it'll the light will come on now what you're seeing there in fact is you're seeing now that's actually yellow it looks green to me but that's actually the preview uh, row so you can actually get as you're doing your um your transitions or whatever you're actually getting your um your tally lights for your preview as well and i'll just do that on the um uh, if I just go over here to the um, software control panel, um, I'm going to be switch doing this, and you can see they're changing here. I'll be doing this as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch the preview row to black. We're going to go back over to the camera output, and you can see now I've just got tally number one on air, tally number two, tally number three, tally number four. I'm going to switch the program row to black, and then I'm going to switch the preview row and you can see these are the preview row LEDs coming on and um, so you've got full program and a preview row and they're all allocated um, using the software control for um, uh, using the, um, the tally interface box and you can see here I've got eight tallies um, the first four I've got them programmed to do cameras one to four on the program row and then the second eight I've got to do tallies um, preview row tallies one to four and um, and as a little um, a little uh, trick you can do here if I just do a T type T on the uh, control window um, it's actually now uh, testing the tallies and if I go back to the um, camera output you'll see these are the, the tallies I'll just um, switch that off. Um, let me just um, try it again. And there you can see it's switching through the... Um, so there are the previews, there's the programs, there's the previews again. The same down here, there's previews, programs, previews. You can't actually see too much difference in the colour here, but if the um, camera was a little bit darker you'd probably be able to see the fact that it's um it is a, it is a darker i don't know whether you'd see if i put a little bit of an nd over it yeah you can, you can see there's a difference between red and green and um probably the same up here oh there you go yeah but um believe me these are changing between preview and program the data video system uses red for program and yellow for preview whereas most other people use green for preview but I guess these dual colored LEDs that they use in their system only allow uh, red and yellow who knows um, anyhow so that's just the very quick video what we're talking what we were talking about here is if you want to do this um, you can use my um, um, tally box uh, the very basic one, as I said, you can get them under $200 at the moment. That may not be for a long time, um, but it's let's call it the coronavirus special. Um, you know, just, just on costing, um, you might buy one of these, uh, ATM Mini, you might buy an ATM Mini. You buy uh, ITC100 talkback system, that's going to cost you three times the cost of your ATM Mini. That's how well priced these things are. And unfortunately, because these are so well priced, that's why I've got such a low price on these at the moment. Because you can't have a tally box that's more expensive than your um, your main vision, your program switcher. So Blackmagic certainly are changing the uh, the expensive world of broadcast television, and um, we all seem to be following on doing the same thing. Okay, so um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little short video. The next one's probably going to be a long one.